Okay, I've been thinking for a while of who you remind me of. Who is it? You're not gonna believe me, but do you ever get Giselle? Bunchen? Yes! You know, like, I, I, something about the face and the hair. You know what? I did get that one time. <laughs> Although, uh, most of the time I get Kate Blanchett, or, you know, when I'm fun, Jennifer Aniston. But, I'll take fucking any of them. Most of the time I feel like a pothole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get Niles from Frasier. I don't have any issue dating a balding guy. You know, the funniest guys are always balding and the fattest girls are always funniest. Like, obviously you're more adept at social maneuvering if you felt like a physical failure your entire life. Although, I guess there is a glass ceiling or a glass floor. I'm, I'm not balding. Oh. Chill. So, you walk dogs? Oh, yeah, I, I invented an app. You looking to hire? Do you want to walk dogs? I don't like animals, but I want to make money. What's your availability? Days and nights. Would you be willing to handle multiple dogs? Yes. What's your experience with larger dogs? I fear very large dogs, but I can get used to anything. In a situation where a dog got fussy, what would you do? Bring it home. Your home? No, I would bring it to the master's home. If I brought it to my home, I would think- Okay, I'm sorry. You're just so Giselle. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you really are like so Giselle. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's the mouth. <laughs> I super appreciate it. Well, I'm gonna make another vodka soda. I love wine, but it's just got so much sugar in it. Oh, not to make you feel bad or anything. Oh, I look forward to high blood sugar. <laughs> Death be welcome. <laughs> Death be welcome. Oh. Death be welcome. I could not stop for death. He kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. We slowly drove. He knew no haste. And I had put away my labor and my leisure too for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of gaze and grain. We passed the setting sun. Or rather, he passed us. The dews drew quivering and chill, for only gossamer my gown, my tippet, only tulle. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, the cornice in the ground. Since then, tis centuries, and yet feels shorter than the day I first surmised the horses' heads were toward eternity. Fuck me, right? I'm a like, good one, Emily. Good one. It's such a beautiful poem. Fuck me, right? You said it. I mean, can you imagine living in the same time as Emily Dickinson and reading this and, and like, being so moved? Oh. I don't think anybody read her shit till after she was dead. Fuck me. I'll walk you outside. <laughs> 